I'm Jonathan and welcome to Brain Stuff. Now have you ever been in your bathroom brushing with an electric toothbrush and wonder to yourself, wait a minute, how the heck is this thing working anyway? Well, don't worry, your toothbrush isn't running on uranium. No, our electric toothbrushes recharge their batteries through a process called wireless charging. See, electricity already exists all around us, it binds us, it penetrates us. Actually, it exists as magnetic fields in the atmosphere, and wireless charging just harnesses those fields in all kinds of devices, from toothbrushes to cell phones and even cars. Depending on the size of the device and its distance from a transmitter, there are three ways to wirelessly charge it. For low power devices that stay within 30 feet or 10 meters of their transmitter, there's something called radio charging. Now, this method is used with small things like medical implants, hearing aids, and some watches. A transmitter sends a low-powered radio wave through the air to a receiver that converts the wave into pure energy. But for something a little larger than a watch, like your toothbrush, the most common method is called inductive charging. So instead of radio waves, inductive charging uses electromagnetic fields to transfer energy from a transmitter to a receiver. On the toothbrush's case, it forms a two-part transformer with the base it's mounted on. The primary transmitter is housed in the toothbrush's base, producing the magnetic field. Now, this field is picked up by the secondary receiving coil inside the toothbrush itself, which induces electricity and charges the device. Now, remember when I said that your toothbrush didn't run on uranium? Chokes on you! No, 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 it doesn't. At least it, it shouldn't. But the magnetic field of inductive charging it generates something called non-ionizing radiation, which we're 99.9% .9 sure is harmless. Perfectly safe. Well, while inductive charging is great for toothbrushes and phones, what if you wanted to charge something larger, like, say, your car? Well, for this kind of application, we use resonance charging. This is a similar principle to the toothbrush. It uses a coil and a magnetic field, but the difference is that it can deliver way more energy, somewhere around 3,000 watts. Scientists envision a future where vehicles using resonance charging actually recharges while you're driving around. A receiving coil resting under the vehicle would resonate with a grid directly under the road. Even while moving, this car would move through these magnetic fields that would induce electricity to flow and charge its own battery. It's pretty awesome. So if wirelessly charging is so easy, why do I still have to fight for the one seat in the cafe next to an electric socket? Well, unfortunately, the companies that produce our phones, tablets, laptops, and cars have yet to agree on a common standard. So all these devices can charge with the same basic technology. Once we all agree on how to charge wirelessly, we won't constantly be on the lookout for places to plug our phones or our toothbrushes into. So now that you know how to charge a device wirelessly, how would you start using this process? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you like and subscribe to this channel because they're right off screen right now, threatening me with pitchforks and torches.